Welcome back, everybody, to Code and Exiles. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to we're going to have a building episode. I mean, I've been doing so much building, it's just crazy. But um, there are some finishing touch types of things that I want to do on the palace, which you can see behind me in the distance. It turned out very interesting looking. <laughs> um, and uh, so I figured, well, let's go ahead and do some of those finishing touch types of things um, on camera. So. Uh, right below me, as you can see, is our set terrace, and so I got that finished, and we've got um, we got some um, terrain bowls and some um, braziers lining the um, the walkway there, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. It looks really good at night too, so hopefully it'll it'll turn night uh, before this episode's over. If it doesn't, I might just go into admin mode and force it night, so you can kind of see. But uh, yeah, I like the way that this turned out. Now somewhere. Uh, sometime earlier on in this series, I could have sworn I found a recipe, maybe in the esoteric library, for some set statues. I'd have to go back and look at the videos, uh, you know, when I was in the unnamed city. But for the life of me, I can't find them now. I don't, maybe they were part of one of the mods that I had to, you know, that I had to get rid of. But uh, anyway, and I'm not talking about, you know, the stuff like this thing. I mean, the, it was like a whole bunch of set recipes or statues that we got somewhere along the line but i just i can't find it anymore so either it got messed up in the mod maybe it got messed up with the update or whatever but anyway uh so uh th those are not available to me and you know they're not in the um uh, artisan table either because i already looked so i decided to go with the terrain bowls because i thought they looked kind of cool uh looking at the altar we've got our high priest here and then we have a zamora uh, back in her spot dancing on the altar if I get another dancer at some point, I might actually put the dancers down here instead of right on the altar. But for now, uh, since we just have the ones and more, can dance up there. Okay, so we got that done. And yeah, we I've got the main structure of the palace completed. Uh, but there's still a lot of interior decoration, some other finishing touches that I want to put on it. But that's what it looks like down below. And um, you can't... It's, it's kind of hard to see in the daytime, but there's uh, bra braziers inside of each one of those, you know, little glass towers that are sticking up. Uh, so at nighttime, it looks really cool because everything's, you know, lit up really nicely. And, uh, you know, it's all made mostly out of storm glass uh, along with some Aqualonian uh, pieces too. But, it, but those are the two main uh, parts of it. So let's take a look at the palace. Uh, so as you can see down below, I've got the map room inside of here. And... Um, so it, it's kind of like the, you know, the, the centerpiece for the, for the bottom part of the palace, which is kind of what I had in mind for it. And so that worked out pretty good. And then uh, if we go up here, we come to the throne room, which I haven't uh, put a throne up yet, but we will. And so this is where, um, you know, the subjects of OG <laughs> uh, can come and uh, petition before the throne or whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we'll put a throne up here. Um, I kind of don't like these gates sticking through like they are, so we might put some banners up or see if we can do something more with that. And then, um, you know, there is a, a little walkway outside along the perimeter this way, a lower down walkway. Okay, and then let's go up to the next level. And then this leads to the, the king's bedroom, uh, which is this room here. And it's all really cool looking. It's got vaulted ceilings with glass, that sort of thing. Uh, and this is one of the things we'll we'll work on, you know, trying to do some decorating in this episode. And then if we go up, for, oh, the other thing too is if if we go back down here for a second um, and just look up, we've got this really cool high vaulted, um, you know, glass ceiling right above the the dais where the you know where the throne will sit. So that looks really cool. Uh, I I just love the storm glass pieces. Uh, really neat stuff. Okay, and so yeah, this will be the bedroom. Uh, for for OG and then uh, we come out here we've got kind of like a, a balcony that looks out over the the set uh, terrace and the rest of the place unfortunately th these didn't line up because of the terrain so you know it is what it is and um, but we got a nice view from here and then if we go around uh, to this side we also have a terrace uh, looking out over over this way uh, with our lagoon, uh, our Osa, uh, I'm sorry, our oasis down below, and so yeah, this is uh this is what I came up with, and I kind of I didn't really have a specific plan in mind. I just started putting it together, and this is <laughs> this is what I came up with. So yeah, we got um, kind of like a central 
spire or tower piece there and then some smaller t towers just you know just added that stuff to give it a little more character that sort of thing all right so let's go ahead and hop back down here and we've got we still have a lot of work to do on this place in terms of you know just getting it decorated and and functional and that sort of thing so let's go into here and um oh by the way i put I decided to go with, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. Dude's Delightful is, is working again. So it was updated by the mod author, so we got our chimneys back. Uh, but I decided not to use the dude's flooring again, uh, just in case something happens again. So I, I just went with normal insulated wood. I like the way the insulated wood looks underneath, but it, it doesn't look very good, you know, the surface of it. I mean, this looks like you're going to get slivers in your feet if you walk across the floor kind of thing. I wish it was a little nicer looking, you know, a little more well sanded, finished, whatever, than it is. But, you know, it is what it is. And so uh, that's what we're working with. We I did build another blacksmith station here, a campaign blacksmith station, uh, because we got that second uh, temper smith area soot face. And so she's working up here and just helping to make additional steel reinforcements, which is the thing that I always seem to run out of. So yeah, we got more work to do up here. I don't know if we'll get anything done here in this episode. I mostly want to focus on the palace. Uh, but we still have to get, you know, bedrooms set up there for the thralls and that sort of thing. And just to kind of, you know, as a reminder uh, or to let people know that may not know this, we still have a lot more to do building. This is, you know, once we finish the palace, we're mostly going to be done with everything up here. But uh, we're still planning on um, making a, a big tower and um training yard i guess you will or practice yard uh, uh, on the top of that butte there and then this one kind of off to the right there uh, we're going to build a coliseum uh where we're going to have a, you know gladiator battles and that sort of thing so it's going to be really fun once it's all done i'm not planning on doing a ton of things down in the oasis i am going to try and though set up a, a pool uh type of thing in the water itself but i, I want to try and preserve the trees and the foliage and all that sort of thing as much as possible uh, in the oasis itself i am going to put gates down though you know and then once we started getting structures across the way there we might set up like horizontal elevators or build some kind of a bridge system or whatever we'll, we'll just kind of see you know how that comes together so lots of building left to do but um today's focus is going to be like i said to, to get the, the palace finished or at least you know uh, mostly finished so yeah i don't know i i think that um I'll be honest with you. I don't. I'm not sure how. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's. It's just. I. I wouldn't say it's bad. Uh, in fact, it's not bad. It's just really kind of weird, off the wall, but not necessarily in a bad way. But I don't know. It's just. It's just weird. I can't really compare it to, to an architecture you know that I've seen before. Like you know maybe like a almost a. It kind of sort of started looking like a pagoda a little bit because, you know, it kind of tapered up. But then that changed and I don't know, it's it's quite unique, uh, quite unique. But anyway, that's what we got. I'm not changing it now and <laughs> we're going to go with it. It's a pretty small palace too. You know, it's not very large, but that's okay. The compound as a whole is quite, you know, quite uh, spacious. So the palace is really just, a, you know, a place for the throne room, uh, OG's bedroom, and of course the centerpiece for the map room. So uh, it's good. I'm happy with it. All right. Now, let's go into here. And uh, so, let's see. What are we going to start with? There's a ton of things to do. I I built a an improved artisan table. This is something new uh, with the 2.5 update. And what this apparently does is it combines all the other DLC into one table. So, if you look, it's got the um it's got all the Terranian stuff in here. It's got all of the Aquilonian stuff in here. Um, and, you know, I, I'm assuming, you know, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think this red stuff is from Durketto, the curtains and whatnot. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. They put everything all into just one table, so you no longer need a separate Terranian table and a separate Aqualonian table and so on and so forth. Um, but, you know, I've got those there. I'm going to keep them there for now anyway. Okay, so let's start by making ourselves a throne. So I'm going to go into my feats here and I don't know if I have that learned so let's just do throne so this is the just normal throne you know that the game comes with so 
Well, let's learn that. Um, Wandering Wizard has a bone throne, but that's not, nah, that's not really the kind of style, uh, a kind of vibe I'm going to go, I want to go for. So that's probably the only throne that's in this. Witch's Hut. Interesting. Just kind of scrolling down through here really quick. This is all dude's delightful stuff. I'm I'm a little bit hesitant to make more dude's delightful stuff until I know for sure, you know, that everything's stable. So, okay, it looks like the stone throne is our really our only option. Um, there may have also been a throne uh, with Immerse that I, I removed, but let's just do type throne in here too. Yeah, see, that's the only option we got. Okay, well, um, let's also look at just chair for a second. So the Aqualodian Counselor chair kind of looks like a throne. Hmm. It sort of does, but, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's make it and just take a look at it. Let's just make it and take a look at it. Uh, so we're going to need some shaped wood. Oh, wait, I already got a bunch of shaped wood. We're going to need some silk. Silk is actually something I don't think I have a whole lot of. Do I? I don't have any silk in there. Do I have any in the armor space? Oh, I got, I got a little bit. We could probably stand to... To go farm a little bit more silk, though, uh, when the opportunity presents itself. But uh, for now, let's put the silk in here. And we'll just put like 100 of these in here for now. And then let's go back once again to the chair. And let's just look at this. Let's make it and look at it. If I don't like it as a throne, we can always put it up in the bedroom. Uh, but let's just set it down there. Yeah... It doesn't, it doesn't really give off a throne vibe so much. Not so much. Okay, so let's uh, let's pick that up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make the actual throne that comes uh, with the game. So we need hardened brick and steel reinforcements. Let's just put, I don't know, 50 of those in there. And 100 of these in here. And we'll craft the throne. Very good. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's go ahead and set that in place, and then we'll look at the next thing. I was thinking maybe, you know, some banners perhaps behind the throne, because, again, like I don't really like the way the tops of the gates there look. Okay, so we want this to be right in the center. Um, maybe we'll put it right smack dab in the center of this tile like so. Okay. <clears throat> that doesn't look so bad, actually. That doesn't look so bad. Um, I can't, uh, I can't go into to the the camera view mode while I'm sitting in the throne. Um, so if I if I turn too far this way, then I we're kind of looking out of OG's mouth there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, I think that works. I think that works quite well. Okay, so now let's see what is the next thing that we want to do up here let's go uh, i wanted to do we need to do some lighting too uh, we need a lot of lighting we got the lights up uh, up high there in the towers but i don't have lighting anywhere else so that's something we want to work on and i had an idea uh, for some hanging lights uh, along the exterior on the oasis side so we've got the brass ceiling lamp here that requires a yellow lotus powder uh, I want to make one of those, and I want to make one of the Aqualonian hanging and see which one's brighter. Uh, so let's see. Yellow Lotus Powder is going to be in here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I don't know. Let's just take 10 of those for now. And um, we should have actually be able to make all of that just in this table. Where did that go? There we go. Okay, so let's find that. Okay, so this is... Oh, you know what? Actually, that's a dude's delightful. That's not... I thought that was Terranian. No, that's dude's delightful. Okay, let's um, let's get some iron out of here. The deciding factor is going to be the brightness of it more than the way it actually looks. Cause I, I I want it to be nice and bright, you know. Um, so okay, so let's make this hanging lantern here. And then we also have fancy street light. 
We do have the the glow torches. They, these put off quite a bit of light, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not real keen on the bone theme, you know, for this. For this. Um, now, we also have an Aqualonian. Oh, we do have Terranian. Okay, so wait a second. That's a Terranian hanging lamp. Okay, let's make one of those. And this is... That's like a brazier that hangs off the wall. I don't know. Let's look at that. See what that looks like. Uh, but I'm looking specifically looking for the Aqualonian lamp. Um, this one here. Okay, so that just requires stone. All right, let's grab. Let's just grab all of this out of here, and we'll put it. We'll do all of our stuff out of the main table because why not? Since we can, right? Okay, so we'll put that in there. Gold and that. All right, now um, let's make one of these. These do pretty decent light as well as I, if I recall correctly. Okay, so we got those four that we want to test. Now, as far as banners, we also have this folding screen. We could potentially put that behind the throne. Um, let's also make a couple of the smaller uh, braziers. These are two, I think these are a little bit big to be putting up on the, the dais of the throne itself. Um, let's see. So we got some statues, but I, I kind of want to save the statues for the Colosseum. Um, okay, so those are flags. Oh, we got a carpet. Yeah, let's make the carpet. That'll look nice. And I don't think we want the red curtains. We do have these hanging war banners that might work. That's a large banner. A medium banner. How large is large? I wonder. Let's see. We need sticks and twine for that. Let's grab some sticks. Do I? Oh, shit. I don't have any sticks, do I? Uh, like, none at all? Really? Um, okay. Do I have normal wood? I don't even... Uh, yeah, I got normal wood. Okay, let's just have him create some sticks for us. Usually, I'm doing it the other way around, but <laughs> uh, we need some sticks here. We'll make 20 for now. Okay. And then uh, we need a little 20 too, so let's just take half of whatever's there. I got a bunch of twine in the other the other table. Uh, okay, so where did it go? Sticks and twine. There's the twine and the sticks are here. Okay, so let's make this large banner. I don't know how large it actually is. I'm not super thrilled that it's purple. I have nothing against the color purple. In fact, I happen to like the color purple quite a bit, but I don't know if it's going to fit well in the throne room, you know, with the colors and stuff that we currently have. Stone, fireplace. These are tapestries. I wonder how big those are. Hmm, this color might work okay. I'm just looking really quick to see what else there is. Well, let's make this big purple one because I want to see how big it is. I, I, I know, you know, the size of these, so those, they're kind of smallish, but they could work. That's a medium banner, but it's green. I don't think green's going to go well in there. That's a small banner. It's kind of a turquoise color. Let's also make this tapestry. Uh, we need leather for that and see, you know, what, what we're kind of working with on that thing. So we'll make get like 200 leather out of there. Okay. So, oh, why are these? Wonder why those require different materials. Let's just make one of both. Okay, so let's put all this stuff in our inventory and go experiment here. Okay, so, hmm, it's, uh, it's sort of kind of dark in this corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's kind of test, let's test the lights, uh, the hanging, uh, what the hell am I doing? Cut it out. <laughs> let's test the hanging stuff first. So I'm going to get all of this off my, my toolbar. My inventory is a mess right now. Okay, so we have the Aqualonian, we have the Terranian, we have the 
Terranian Brazier, and we also had, what did we, oh, I was going to put these down too. What was that other one we made? It's the Dude's Delightful. Here, this one. Okay, here. Let's, um, let's put this one up first. Okay, so that's, uh, I mean, we can't really tell for sure unless it's night. You know what? Screw it. Hold on. Let's just go into admin mode and make it night. We're just going to do it because we need to, to really see, you know, what uh, what this is all going to look like. So let's go to the cheat panel and let's set the time of day to, no, let's set it here. So uh, where's time of day? Set time of day. Okay. So 2400 is midnight. Okay, so that's uh, that's how much light this this guy puts out. Okay, let's pick him up. Now let's try the the uh, this one here. I can't really see it very well. Um, I almost think that one puts out more light. Here, you know what we could do? Let's put this one over here. Eh, I think, I don't know, guys. I think they're about the same. Maybe the Aqualonian is actually just a touch brighter, but it's kind of hard to tell. This one has a a whiter, whiter light. This has an oranger light, but I don't really see that in the actual reflected light itself. That's just the look of the flame. Okay, well here, let's um, pick this one back up, and let's try the dude's delightful. Ooh, I like that. Except for there's no actual flame in it. If we if we go back here, yeah, I'm not seeing a substantial difference between any of these. And honestly, this one's the cheapest one to make. <laughs> it only requires stone. Um. What about this wall brazier? Or not brazier. <laughs> wall bra. A wall brazier. Ooh, that puts out some light. That definitely puts out more light than these things do. Um I'm just not sure where I have uh, I mean we might actually use these, but where I'm currently thinking about using them, I don't know if that would work so well. Okay, here. Let's here. Let's put these down. Definitely the that one we just put down has the most light for sure. There's no doubt about it. Now I think what we could do with these is maybe put them on the corner. These have pretty good light too. There. These aren't actually gonna go here. I was just using putting them there to test. That lights the, the throne room up nicely in the dark, doesn't it? I really like this this Terranian um, brazier. Okay, here, let's go back to here again. And we're going to... Let's set the time of day to... Yeah. That still puts the moon, well, partway across the sky anyways. Okay. So, yeah, this is, uh, you know what I'm thinking, actually? Maybe we should put these in the back, too. Now, the more I think about it, I think we do. And we can put the, the Terranians in a different location. So let's make a couple more of these. See, they're just, you just, they just require stone. They're, like, super cheap. To make um, but the uh, these guys what I want to try and do is here's here's what I had in mind for those here let's get these other uh, braziers down first so if we just put those here uh, or maybe maybe we put them in the kind of kitty corner here. So 
So that gives a decent amount of light in the throne room at night. Still not a ton though, so what we could maybe do is put these guys up here. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's go make a couple more of those because I want to also test them in the other location I was wanting to put them in. Okay, so let's go to... It's the terrain stuff we're looking for, so it's kind of further down. Okay, yeah. Um, those take iron. So let's make a couple of those. See, that light actually bleeds through down below here, too. And it lights up the map room quite nicely as well. Okay, so we're going to put another one of these up here. And, yeah, this is very well lighted now at this point. Where's the moon at? Yeah, it's going across the sky. Let's go back into here. It doesn't stay night very long with my settings, which normally is, is the way I like it. But um, Okay, so we set it to 2,000, which would be, what, 8 o'clock at night? Um, why don't we go, why don't we set it to, say, 7 o'clock at night? Or wait a minute. No, what am I doing? That would be 1,900, right? Yeah. All right, where's the moon at? We could even maybe do 1,800. But anyway, okay, yeah, the lighting in here looks great, actually, with just those four braziers and then putting the, the hanging lamps. Those will look really nice. Uh, I like the lighting here. I don't think we need to do anything more in here as far, as far as lighting goes. Now, let's take a look at some of these banners here. So we made the big, this is the big purple banner. How big is it? Ooh, it's pretty big. Um, The question, I guess, though, is... Here, I need to get into first person. It's really hard to get it lined up with the throne because the throne is actually in the way. Uh, what if we hung it up high, actually, too? Right there. What? Knock it off. Uh, see, no, that's too high because you can't you can't see it back here is the problem with that. So we need to lower it. I think the purple works okay in here. It works better than I thought it was going to. Um. Oh, look at that. Even blows in the wind. Okay, here, let's pick this back up. Uh, I'm gonna. I need to pick this up too for a second because it's just, otherwise it's just gonna be in the way. Okay, so let's go into first person here, and we wanna we want it right in the center and probably just about touching the ground. Uh, so right about here ish. Just trying to make sure it's in the center. So I can't see the center line once it gets down. Oh, it kind of popped down for me. Okay. So let's try that. I keep hitting the wrong key here. Oh, that's not in the center. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's try this again. It's a little bit weird that it's blowing, though, in the wind when it's inside, you know? Because uh, uh, it makes it look like there's a big-ass draft or some draft or something. Okay, so let's put it there. Okay, if we put the, the throne back in place now. Here, let's get back into first person again so we can line this up perfectly. Do, do, do. Just barely tap my very sensitive mechanical keyboard to make those fine tune adjustments. That's pretty close there. Okay, now, what's it look like? That <laughs> that looks kind of cool, actually. It, it looks like the snakes are coming out the back of the of the throne. Okay, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Now, um, what if we? Um, okay, what else did we make banner-wise? Oh, we made these tapestries. Okay, so let's grab those. Uh, I don't know how large these are. Yeah, they're not that big, actually. But they don't want to... They, hmm. 
Yeah, they don't want to attach to the gates. They want to attach to the wall behind the gate, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, unless we hold them up here. But I was hoping to kind of cover up some of this. Hmm. Well. I'm trying to think how I would, what else I would do there. Hanging tapestries might look nice there. And then, you know, what we could do is we could take those other, you know, like the, the crests and just put those all along the wall here. I wonder if we made a hanging tapestry, if we could get it to hang off of that. I wish that damn thing wasn't blowing, though. Is there, like, a way to turn off the animation on it? Uh, move... Interact with a large banner? There's no way to interact with it. Move. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. I don't like it blowing, guys. I really don't. It's, it's bugging me. All right, let's go back into here and see what other options we might have. Okay, so we have these flags that are up on poles, but that might look a little odd inside the throne room, you know? The curtains, I don't think, are going to jive too well. So we're going to make a bunch of these, but I was going to put these along the wall. Uh, so let's actually do that. Uh, oh, shit. We, we need more silk. Okay, that isn't going to work right now. The medium banner is probably going to flow in the wind, too, like the purple one is. So there's a Stygian flag. Uh, okay, this is what I'm looking for. Some of these these are, some of these war banners should be hanging banners. It doesn't... Uh, these ones are obviously on pull, so these must be the hanging ones here, I guess. Well, no... There is a pole, but it's right in the center. I don't think any of these hang. Hmm. Well. Um. Okay, let's go back into here. We'll we'll make it night again later. As long as that thing wasn't blowing, it would be okay. It's a little glitchy, too, because it doesn't really start doing that until I get close to it. See, if we go back here, it's st <laughs> it stays still again. What the, wor what the world, man? Okay, well, here. let's. For now, I'm just going to do this. I, I might change this later, but let's just put that banner there and this one up here. Just to put, you know, a little more stuff. Oh, you know what? I actually was going to try one other thing. This might look a little weird, too, but let's just try it anyway. There's um, there's like a, a privacy thingamadoodle that you can make. Uh, not that, but this. Let's just put that up and see what it looks like. So what we would do is we'd put it, uh, well, hmm. I don't really want to put it in front of the stairs. We could maybe put it here. And, nah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, well, let's just let's just go with this for now, and then uh, if I come up with a better idea later, we'll we'll we'll, work, we'll do a better idea later. Okay, so we also made this Aqualonian carpet. So how big is this thing? Okay, that looks nice. Um, can we? 
Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna put have to put that down here. Maybe what we should do is put this in the center of these two pillars. I kind of wished it wasn't all wrinkled looking though, is the thing, but Okay. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, I, here's how, how we can do this. I'm kind of using the tiles to gauge the horizontal center. All right, let's look at that. So if we're up here, looking down, hmm, I don't know. What if we should maybe move that closer to the throne? Eh... Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's move it closer to the throne. And what if we put it this direction instead? Because it doesn't really necessarily hurt to put it horizontally as opposed to vertically. Okay, what about putting it like that? I wish we had like a long carpet you don't like roll out the red carpet kind of idea but as far as i know we don't have that option what if we made a couple of these and we lined them up end to end as if that's what they were doing so if we were going to do that do we want to bring them all the way up to the steps All right, let's go make a couple more of those. And just, just, I'm not sure this is gonna work, but I, I just want to see what it looks like. Okay, so we need to find the Aqualonian carpet, which is, 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 is where's it at? Here, let's just do this. Carpenter. There we go. All right, we need more silk. So, I am definitely gonna have to go farm up some more silk because I think between that and if I had more, it would be in here. Uh, or possibly in this table, but we don't have. There was a little bit in the carpenter's bench because I needed to make bowstrings. And how much does it take? 23? Uh, yeah, you know what? I might need... I want, I'm going to save that rest of that for a bowstring. Okay, but we'll put this in here anyway. Okay, so let's make two more of these. What happens if we type in rug... Nothing. What if we go into feats and type in rug? Oh, rug stitcher. Okay, yeah, let's learn that. Uh, Mary Merchant has, ooh, frilly carpets. Those could be cool. Rug racks, decorative rugs. Ooh. Now, this got some stuff in it, you guys. We might be able to find some really cool, royally, royalish looking stuff in here. Um, I'd be curious to see what the frilly carpets look like and the decorative rugs. This blue one is kind of, I kind of like the design of this, but it's brown. Of course, the brown would probably go okay with the, that's orange. Piss stained? No, I don't think we want that. <laughs> Piss stained? <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, so this blue one might look okay. All right, let's look in here now. Mm, okay, so let's try carpet. Okay, so that gives us these. These carpets I've used before. Um, all except for this one. These are these are pretty small, though. They really are like just rugs that you'd put like you know at the at an entrance of the door. Uh, this is really large, and I am planning on using that maybe upstairs. Uh, in fact, let's make that right now. We need plant fiber. Uh, I don't remember how much it said. Hopefully, that's enough. That enough yeah let's make one of those but that's going to go upstairs in the in the in the master bedroom um so ooh, you know what we could do though 
we might be able to line up a bunch of these and make the quote unquote red carpet or even a blue carpet. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go look at these others first. I'm sorry I'm a little scatterbrained, but I'm just kind of making this up as I go. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. It's a little bit different than the normal. A uh, little building action going on, some interior decoration. So, you know, we're breaking things up a little bit. Um, What did I do with that? Oh, did I not? <laughs> I don't think I put them in my inventory. Ouch, that's going to hurt. Let's go back and grab them. Grab that and grab the big rug. Uh, while we're here, too, let's make our bed. Uh, so we want bed. We're going to make the the Draketo bed. Uh, so we need hide and wood for that. Let's grab... Let's actually just grab 100 wood. Some of my resources are a bit low just because I've been building like crazy. And we should have some raw hide in here. Yes, we do. So let's grab 100 of those. Okay, so we'll make the luxurious bed. And um, we're going to want, I think we're going to want some more of those uh, braziers. These guys up in the in the master bedroom. So let's make four more of these for now. That's going to be really bright up there, though. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like bright. And, you know, we're going to make some, like, end tables and some other decorations for upstairs, too. But for now, let's just go with with this. 